Welcome back everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about how you can get started making Game Boy games. We're going to be using GB Studio 3.1.0 and as you can see here we have uh, the sample project which has uh, scenes in the background and actors on top of the background and the player will start at this orange arrow and they will move through the game based on this blue arrow here. But today we're going to be talking about how you can start making Game Boy games by making these background images. So today we're going to be learning about the process of making your own background images uh, so you can construct scenes in GB Studio. So to begin, the first piece of information you need is the Game Boy only has four colors on its background and the color, this color you see here, is actually painted on after the fact. We're currently in um, color mode. So if I go into the settings at the top left, you, and we can see here that it says enable color mode and it's ticked. So if we untick that, we go back to our game world, we can see it's all green now. And these are the four colors that GB Studio uses by default. And then by turning on color mode and using the, the paint swatches here, then we can paint our scenes in different colors. So you can find these four colors here uh, they're on the gbstudio.dev website, they're in the assets, backgrounds uh, part. And you see here it gives you the exact color codes to use inside your, inside your chosen image editing software. And the reason why I'm talking about backgrounds with you today is that there is a pixel art jam coming up next weekend. It's being hosted by GB Studio Central and Bad Dad. The idea is that we'll all be making these background images and it will all go onto one single um, cartridge or into one game like a gallery so we'll all be part of this Game Boy game basically um, so as you can see here there's um, some parameters for example the, the the background image must be 160 by 144 pixels which is the exact size of the Game Boy screen it needs the four colors that GB Studio uses and as I'll get to in a minute it needs to be a maximum of 192 unique 8 by 8 pixels and a PNG format so if we jump back into GB Studio here, if we click on one of these images, it says over here at the top right, size 20 by 18. And as the jam submission page touched upon, it the Game Boy works in 8 by 8 pixels. So 20 times 18 means tiles. So if we zoom in here and we highlight a piece, you can see it's a tile. These, these are all tiles, right? Um, this square cursor kind of thing is a tile. And so this 20 by 18, which is the exact height um, of the Game Boy screen um, and obviously these bigger screens uh, these bigger images scroll with the screen but for the jam we're just going to be focusing on these minimum size and the main reason we're doing that is because the maximum limit of GB Studio when we want to have dialogue and everything uh, dialogue is like a overlay that pops up on the screen that has text in we're only allowed to use 192 unique tiles in each scene or in each uh, background image. So the top right here we have tiles, it says 36 on this one. This one has 80 unique tiles. This one has 104 unique tiles. If we go down to this one for example, it's 191. So obviously that's one tile less than the limit. And as you can see, if we zoom in, a lot of these tiles are repeating, right? So that each of these, or this whole line for example, is just one unique tile. So I'm going to show you how to do this in GIMP, and GIMP is a free image editing software. And I've, I've clicked on create new image at the top left. Um, and now I have to cho choose the width and height of my image. So if you remember from the Game Jam page, it said 160 pixels by 144 pixels. The Game Boy screen is slightly wider than it is tall. Okay, so uh, 160 by 144. Okay, so we now have this document here uh, which is exactly the size of a Game Boy screen in pixels and we now want to be able to do stuff with it so first of all I'll just show you this pencil tool um, it has a hardness of 100 and I'm just going to put the size on the, on the left here uh, to 1 and now if I change the color to this black then you can see I'm now drawing I can, I can say hello very very badly and I can draw faces or clouds or houses or cars or anything I might want. Um, but we already know that the Game Boy actually uses greens. So I'll now show you how to get those colors in here. 
So I've jumped back over to gvstudio.dev and I'm now stealing these colors. So I'm just copying them and I'll copy them one by one and I'll show you what to do with them. So as you can see, we have a color wheel over here. If you can't find it, then there's an icon that looks like a circle with a triangle in it. And it's when you hover over it, it says wheel. If you can't find it, you can go into windows and go into dockable dialogues and find colors. Yeah, colors, here it is. Um, and now you have access to this color wheel, I hope. And underneath the color wheel, you have these um, numbers here and they change as you change the, the color. And so we're just gonna paste in that um, that color we just copied from gbstudio.dev. So now if we zoom in, we now have a, um, a light green, which is the white. Okay, so if I, if I use the paint bucket tool, which is next to it, and I just fill it in, it's got di diagonal neighbors uh, ticked, meaning it will cross over gaps like this. Then we can fill this. And now the white is actually a light green. Now I'm doing the same with the black, so I can fill in the black. And now the black is actually a slightly bluish black. And now I'm doing it with the dark green. So we now have some dark green. And now we have light green as well. And by, by painting it down, it is now saved in this bottom bit here. So these four colors here are the perfect four colors we need to make a Game Boy background for GB Studio. Um, the next thing we want to know about is the tiles. So obviously I talked to you about the unique tiles. Um, so if we go on view and we click show grid, mine is already set up um, to show eight by eight tiles. So as you can see, there should be 20 by 18. Uh, but if you need to get this up as well, we have an image uh, configure grid. And obviously if you aren't using GIMP or you're not using this version of GIMP, I recommend basically Googling it for yourself and finding how to get up a, a grid overlay. So this is what the grid uh, configure grid box looks like in GIMP. As you can see, mine is set to eight pixels by eight pixels. I've set the foreground color to red because for me, it nicely clashes against the greens um, and also highlights against the whites and blacks. And I've set it to solid, it should already be on solid. You don't want an offset, otherwise you'll have um, it not being an eight by eight pixel grid. And by pressing OK, we will um, be able to see exactly what I have here. Um, I hope you can do that yourself. Like I said, Google it in whatever program you're using to make sure that you um, get it going good. And all this actually does is let you see the grid, which you can easily turn off if you if you prefer. And I would recommend turning it off once you're like kind of seeing if the art is done um, or like as you go to keep checking because sometimes these lines will mess with how the image really looks. It just changes your perception of um, the artwork underneath it. So let's say this is our final piece. Um, I'm going to export it. I'm going to save it into that folder as a PNG so that I can show you what it looks like in GB Studio. Okay, so we're back in GB Studio. I've just zoomed out so you can see the whole uh, thing. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on this, your logo, and we're going to change the background image up here to our thing. And obviously it's just called Untitled. And here it is. If we were to press play, the game would begin on this scene here. And if we click on it, we can see that there are 83 unique tiles. And as expected, it's 20 wide by 18 tall. And so now we know how to make art for GB Studio. Obviously, I didn't make it very advanced. And so I'll get into that bit now. So we're back in GIMP. And we have our four colors on the right here. We know how to use the pencil tool. We have the bucket tool at our disposal over here. Um, so we already have some power to make something that we like. So I'll show you some examples of what I've made in the past and, you know, how I've stayed within the tile restraints um, because it can get quite quickly out of hand. So for example, if I, if I were to write some text here and I make this a lot bigger, if I now export this and we look back in GB Studio, it will take a second to update, but we can now see that our tile usage is at now 177 and we'll soon go over the 192 limit obviously with a smaller scene it's a lot easier to stay within it and that's why this pixel art jam is great but i'll show you some of the techniques i've used to keep it within the 192 and if you really want to get stuck into game development with this uh, jam you can consider using tiled as you can see here i've made a tile set this was my last game space shipper where i have loads of stars and little meteorites um, I got like a shooting star 
This is like the path connecting the levels. Uh, we have some icons here. And if we look at the map, we can see that we, you know, we have the black background and we have these stars and we have the, the path connecting them. And by not drawing it freehand, it means that they're all using the same um, piece. So all these lines are all one unique tile. So if we jump back into GB Studio and change um, this to the map, we can see that there's only 32 unique tiles in this scene, uh, despite it looking quite chaotic. And using tiled and using this um, background tile set that I've created, then I can easily you know, paint down things and be sure that it's not going to increase the tile count as long as it's a, as long as I'm using the piece somewhere else. So uh, definitely consider using tiled if you want to, um, you know, go into more of a game production flow where you have a tile set and you're painting down tiles you've already created. For this pixel art jam, I'm going to be making something from scratch without using tiled, um, more like a painting, right? And if you're not very comfortable using tiled, you can still just turn on the grid and copy and paste bits around. So if you know that um, something, you know, is a bit too complicated and is taking up too much tiles, you can just um, paste over it with a new tile, right? So boom, I've just removed the other one by pasting over the top of this one. And obviously I was using the rectangular select tool and then I use control X to cut and control V to paste, or you can control C to copy it you can draw V to paste it and obviously you can drag it around as you do. And keeping things within the lines as well is good for reducing the tile count. If I was to have this extend out onto the top here, then this would be another set of unique tiles that needs to be uh, counted into that count. So by keeping it all on this one layer, boom, it's reducing the tile count. As you can see here, uh, each letter is actually one unique tile. So that means that when I use the letter again, it means it's not a new tile, it's the same unique tile and it keeps the countdown. So if you're going to be using text, that's a great idea. Okay, so here's an example from Take It Racing 2. This scene has too many unique tiles. Um, and so as you can see, I've, I've done a bit to reduce them. If we turn on the grid, we have a lot of black taking up the screen, which is a great idea if you have um, an image that can be scaled down slightly or like you can cut the frame and that reduces the, the tile count. Um, but overall, this has too much going on. As you can see, uh, there's a lot of uniqueness in the faces. There's a lot of uniqueness in the body. So that means that um, each of these tiles will be unique and it will overload the, um, the tile count, basically. So here it is in GB Studio. The tiles are 299. So obviously to reduce it, I can just remove a character or like I said, if I, if I know that there's 229 unique tiles and we know we need 192 to be the max, I'm going to paint over about 40. So here is a bar of 40 um, and I'm going to export it again. And here we are, perfectly 192. So by removing some unique tiles, a strip of unique tiles that were unnecessary, the bottom of their bodies, I've just reduced the tile count from 229 to 192. If you're struggling with your art to get it down to the 192, consider adding a black frame or border and reducing something that's unnecessary to kind of frame it in. And as you can see here, the you know the uh, their shoulders and elbows are, po are poking out of the frame, so it actually adds some dynamics to the scene, even though we have reduced. Uh, the detail in the scene. Maybe consider other ways you can reduce the tile count while also keeping the soul of your artwork. I definitely recommend you go join this jam right now so you can start your Game Boy game development career and start it right by starting small and by starting with um, understanding the rules of the Game Boy screen. Just remember that you, um, you can use any ed image editing software you like, just make sure you upload it as a PNG and it fits these uh, criteria right here. Remember that we have gbstudio.dev and in the documentation we have all this information for you to refer to if you if you'll get stuck, okay? Um, there are also people in the Discord and on Reddit that can help. And remember to read the rules if you are going to be participating. Um, I haven't said everything here. I definitely recommend you join. The jam is only two days long, and as I've shown you, it's actually quite easy to start making something um, just with the pencil tool, just dragging your mouse around. Another part of um, the game jam that uh, might overwhelm you is making an itch account and uploading the image 
um, to a project, which I definitely recommend you tackle yourself. I think I have a video on uploading um, stuff to itch.io already, but basically by doing it now with this um, small little pixel art jam, you're me it means you're, you've already overcome the hurdle for when you come to uploading an actual game. But that's all the main stuff, but I'm just going to go over some exceptions that aren't related to the jam. Um, for example, if we click on this and we change top-down 2D to logo, um, we now don't have a tile limit, but we also aren't allowed to use actors or to have text pop up on the screen. So this is good for if we were to make a logo and the logo is very high detail, um, then we can, you know, have it on in GB Studio without worrying about the tile count. But if we put it back to top-down 2D, we do have a um, tile count. And that's top-down 2D is for moving a character around the screen, for example. Now, and if we're not in this pixel art jam, we can just take pictures with our phone, for example, uh, bring them into our editing software, uh, scale them down to fit the 160 by 18 uh, or bigger if you want to be able to move around it, and then change it to these colors, and boom, you have your photos that you've taken in a Game Boy game. Um, and you can also you obviously use the Game Boy camera, which obviously automatically creates these Game Boy images. So obviously outside of the pixel art jam, we're not limited as much as um, I've made it seem in this one. But it is great practice, this, this pixel art jam, in making backgrounds for games. So I definitely recommend you participate. And I'm not gonna give you a pixel art tutorial here of like how to make things look good because it is quite subjective and for me, finding that out for yourself is part of like the artistic process, but there obviously are other YouTube uh, channels on here. Uh, for example, Pixel Pete and Brandon James Greer, I think, have great pixel art tutorials. So just type in pixel art tutorial on YouTube and you should get some uh, uh, good stuff. Just remember that um, the laws of GB Studio might constrain you slightly, for example, the four colors. So just keep that in mind and uh, remember to have fun with it. So yeah, I'll put my patrons up on screen right now. Thank you very much to you guys. You guys are the absolute best. Remember to like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, leave a comment on what you thought of this video and what you want to see in the next one. And also, are you participating in this pixel art jam? I definitely want to see as many of you um, participate in the jam as possible. Um, I do believe that this kind of jam is like the gateway into making games and for making Game Boy games. Once you've got your head around, you know, these rules that I've... I've, I've shown here and you've like done it and you've you know exported your image into GB Studio um, to test it out and see the tile limit then you will have an easier time making a game uh, so I really hope this helped and I'll see you in the next video bye bye